Can you please comment on Israel domestic affairs and the role of Benjamin Netanyahu in handling this crisis? What Canadians should expect in coming few months? Well, I mean, Israeli domestic affairs are a lot more complicated um, than ours. It's not the same system, right? It's a proportional representation system where um, you know the the party with the most votes gets the first opportunity to form a coalition into government. So you have many different parties sort of stitched together um, in Israel. Now they do have a unity government now during the war. So Benjamin Netanyahu is not going anywhere until the war is done. You know, all the anti-Netanyahu people in the West who often very rarely know what they're talking about. Um, Netanyahu is not going anywhere until the war is done. And the protests you're seeing in Israel, um, it is being spun by radical leftists and people with special interests as anti-war protests. But most of the people protesting Benjamin Netanyahu, or at least half of them, are protesting the soft stance of the Israeli government. They want the Benjamin Netanyahu to outright commit to full victory in Gaza. I mean, there was a protest um, last week where a bunch of reservists off duty, so people who've been fighting in Gaza, fighting in Lebanon, fighting in the West Bank, um, instead of going home to their families, uh, they went outside the prime minister's office and they were asking Benjamin Netanyahu to make sure that they were allowed to fight until the war is finished, like fight to victory. So, you know, when people see, you know, protests of government policy in Israel, yeah, sometimes it's lefties saying, you know, you know, we should hug the terrorism away or the ridiculousness with the Supreme Court going on in Israel. But a lot of the, you know, people protesting Netanyahu or on the streets in Israel um, are sort of protesting, you know, the enforcement of the Biden administration's um, nonsense on Israel and, you know, trying to pressure the government. Um, and, you know, what Israeli society is essentially saying is, I mean, there's been a massive shift, like 44% shift to the right in Israel. Like the, the delusions of the left in Israel have been shattered. Um, and what a lot of the people in the streets of Israel are, are kind of saying is, listen, if you capitulate to the Americans' demands for a Palestinian state run by a terrorist organization or two of them right now, you're done. You're done. We're going, we're, we're going, you know, we're going to find someone else to do that. So what you're seeing from the outside is, remember, that there, there is pressure for Netanyahu to be more hawkish as well as maybe less hawkish. And yes, maybe there are some families of victims. Um, and hostages who want negotiations right now. I want to cease fire to negotiate more hostage releases. That is a political position um, that is in Israel, but um, there is a large political position of the way we get them out is uh, kill their captors and then rescue them uh, because Hamas can't be trusted. So that's what you're seeing inside domest uh, Israel domestically. And do I think this has implications for Canadians? Uh, not really. Um, I, I don't think, again, because Canadian media isn't going to properly frame um, what's going on in Israel in, in any way uh, that, that that is, you know, meaningful. One of our key flaws in the West, I mean, everyone does this, um, so it's not just a Western thing, but we tend to take, you know, other parts of the world or other cultures and whatever, and w in order to explain them to our society, we reframe them as Canadian, mostly American, right? We, we try to frame everything in sort of an American context and how not you know, I was doing an American context, but the Israeli context doesn't map onto the American one, you know, just as like, you know, Eastern Europe, Russia, like y Ukraine and America are, are different. Like there's a different society there. There's a different society in, in Iraq to, to all these. Um, and, you know, to draw parallels between them, um, I don't see it being done in a productive way considering our current uh, mass media structure.